Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Planets Through Ascendance, and today we're going to be covering Mars in the 10th house in Taurus for Leo Ascendant people. As in what happens when Mars is in the sign of Taurus, while it rules a 4th and 9th uh, house in your birth chart. As in all this, if you do not know, we have to, this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your slotical details. For that, check out the links here, karisastrology.com. We're under shop section, you'll find my books, reports, consultations, including my new consultations on Vasta to help you guys out with your environment. So regardless of whatever the economy is, whatever the circumstances are, the energy of the universe feeds you. That's what Vastu is. It's like when you're starving, when the home is starving, you starve. But when home is being fed, you are fed from all directions. So, Mars is in the 10th house. So, first thing that we see is that the 10th house shows how a person perceives their work. Okay, how does a person um, takes care of their work? It even shows the highest of the desires that a person may have related to their work. So, knowing that Mars is in the Earth sign, Taurus. Okay. Where Mars actually kind of becomes stable. Because Mars is fire. You're putting fire on Earth. This is a very stable position for an individual to take on a to take on certain positions, roles in the most balanced approach. Meaning this is a person who can be very good at managing, you know, uh certain types of institution, whether it's banking media, food industries, okay. They have the capacity to take care of that because especially here what's happening is Mars is getting a full directional strength. The direction is very important. And Mars, as you know, is a masculine planet, like very masculine planet. This is why you will see that Mars is given that triangle. Uh, it's an upward triangle, which is a male energy. Okay, downward is female energy, and this is why you have, you know, Venus's representation of not just female or male, it's the merging of the two to create something. This is why Venus is creative. It is creating something. So Mars is here with that full frontal uh, masculine energy where one will take over certain, that area where Mars is. And now Mars has directional strength. So the masculine energy is very uh, strong, but it's earthy. It is not wildly flowing everywhere. It is not frustrated being in that water tatwa. See, when when a when fiery planet like Mars is in a water sign, it becomes frustrated really quickly, regardless of the sign. If you think Pisces is a peaceful sign, well, I'm sorry, Mars's energy comes there and it makes it frustrating. So here, Mars is settled. Then especially because uh, because of your chart, your younger brother will do extremely well in their career because of your chart. Especially because they're being born after you and you already are showing the indication to the universe or to the world that, hey, my brother will have a strong, stable career. The other thing is because it's the fourth lord in the 10th house, one has to leave their home, go far away to work. And this does not mean foreign lands. This particular doesn't mean foreign lands. It simply means that one can go from one end of the country to the other. One may simply, whenever you cross a river, it's a for, it's considered a foreign place. That's exactly what back in the days people thought. Like there was no planes. They pro back in the days, there wasn't even like buses or trains. It was just your horse cart or your, uh, you know, your bull cart. And it took you months just to cross even like 300 miles. That was foreign. That was like somebody's gone far away. And also at the same time, because Mars rules the fourth and it's in the tenth, you will see this person would rather enjoy more time outside in society than in home. Then at the same time, Mars is the ninth lord in the second house. Second from the ninth house of fathers and mentors. So obviously shows father would gain with significance of Mars, which is land. 
perhaps some machinery. Maybe, for example, after your birth, if let's say you're in a farming family, father bought a tractor because it's a machine that is being used to do something, some work onto the field. And Mars, because it represents the fourth house energy, okay, fourth house energy, and it's the home's energy, motherly energy, even though we know mother is the mother, moon, but it's that homely energy, and Mars aspects the fourth house, so of course it shows, because of the second house rulership of wealth and money, one gains the wealth of having fixed assets in their life, whether it's property, land, real estate. Now, when does that happen? Well, that will, the transit and especially dashas will tell us all of that. And can this one position really show that? Yes, because whenever a planet aspects its own sign, it's always going to protect and uh raise the value, the stock value of that particular house. So even if you have malefics in the fourth, or Mars is still looking at its own home, it is not only going to protect it, it is going to increase the value of it. Now, like I was telling you, how is this person going to, you know, deal with their career? Well, because of this direction, uh, this person is extremely career focused. And especially, this is an individual who will gain through outwardly um, interaction. Like, this is not the individual who will suddenly gain through being introvert. They're going to have to, even if they are, they're going to have to get out there. They're going to have to get out there and meet people. They're going to have to get out there and take support of many people. Why? See, Mars will always work through support of many people because a general, which Mars is given the significance of, cannot just walk into the battle by themselves. They have to have a whole army behind them. So what is happening? The general is getting support of all the soldiers in the army. So same way when this person is takes on that professional or desire to have a professional success, they need an army of people behind them. And this is that one position that gives us. So, of course, we also see that this is uh, a particular position where one will naturally uh, will attain subordinates in their life. Some can attain literally as teen, if they're entrepreneurs as teenagers in Silicon Valley. Some may do it in 30s and 40s during the prime of their life. But, and then also single-handedly here, Mars, is creating a Raj Yoga, going towards the higher status. Now, of course, the Nakshatra and the Padha that Mars lands in, that will be another unfolding of the fruits of the karma. But overall, you like you will see, this is a, uh, this is a person who will strive for stability and success. And especially for them, stability becomes very important. Stability in their career, doesn't matter what money they're making or not, they want to work. Their stability of their energy comes in when they're doing some work. And especially Mars in the 10th will actually do very well in a job-like scenario because the general cannot just make a decision of, okay, I need to go fight a war. The general has to be given an order from the king, which is the sun. So if the order from the sun is to do business, then yes, one can do business. If Mar, if let's say sun is in the ascendant 10th house, 3rd house or 4th house. This is where sun then will say, okay, you're going to have, let's put our own effort into winning this war and battle of our career. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mars in the 10,000 tours for Leo Ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed along with all the other sorts of details, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.